Jays win 5-1, and thanks to a Yankee loss, the Jays have a game and a half lead in the American League East. Well, it's a long-standing tradition here at Edmonton, and once again, the Edmonton Open Table Tennis Championships have taken over the Savile Center. The first event uh, was held back in 1939. Uh, local Edmonton businessman J.C. Berger, a lumberyard owner, um, a real big into athletics and recreation, sponsored our very first tournament. Since then, 55 editions of the tournament have been held. 110 competitors from across Alberta and the Yukon are taking part, making it one of the largest local tourneys in Western Canada. The Edmonton Table Tennis Club puts on the event, and organizers say the sport continues to grow in our city. If you looked at a club about 10 years ago, uh, we had probably by just over 100 members or so. Now we're uh, almost double that after 10 years and it's just really been growing from doing nothing more than just a, a nice group of volunteers just putting the word out. And the tournament continues tomorrow with the competitive open events beginning at 10 a.m. And Dad, you play mean ping pong, don't you? Mean? We're not compared to a few people at CDB. That's true. Average. The average. Not below average. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, so Grant. The tournament continues tomorrow with the competitive open events beginning at 10 a.m. Bill Fortier, I'm surprised that you are not there. You're a big ping pong guy, I know. We have a table here at the station. It's up two floors from here. We like to play it's a little good bit enough right for you. And so what I wouldn't do to be able to beat you. Just saying. Just will, once. Just once. That just will once. never, ever <laughs> happen. <laughs> yeah. I need some I just want to be realistic. That will you never should go hang out with them. Yeah. <laughs> Spend a couple days with them. We'll see. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> you bet. We'll be right back.